Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. All right, and welcome to the stream. So I know last time I was in kind of a bad mood. I apologize for that. Uh, I try to be on my best behavior when I'm streaming. Uh, just because, you know, I want to try and be not be toxic. Uh, you know, I want to try not to cuss on stream and not be angry or anything like that. Ran into that issue with the tier 6 Void Ore Miner, not doing common ores. So I decided today I'm going to do the last of the compression uh, and bust out the sieves, you know, so that we can get the nuclear craft ores by sieving and the ores that the void ore miner tier 6 now are not covering so now we can sieve those so that they can uh, they can work better so let's see I've been making them in batches yeah I think last stream I made like 3,000 4,000 now I only need what 300 more and then the rest I can eject so let's make the 300 pistons we need 300 and yep gathered all the resources for it. I'll move this over to the side because I'm going to be working on mystical agriculture pretty soon. So let's put the last ones of these in. And okay yeah it's working. I was wondering there for a second what was up. Let's see, where did I hide my, my guy, my dude, my dude, real, where is it, hmm, let's see, I am scanning and not finding my time in a bottle, I might have tossed it into the uh, arc furnace by accident. We'll check that out later. Let's see, are you done now? Yeah. Matter condenser. Oh man, finally, right? Okay, so where where should we put the matter condenser? For like for right now. For right now, let's put the matter condenser right here. Uh I have um uh, Let's see, can I export this guy? Extract always active. Since I have an insert here. Uh, I'm going to be moving the cool stuff to the other end of the space station pretty soon. Like, I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong with the oxygen supply for right now. Uh, I put a, a question on Reddit to see if any, any awesome person out there can uh, help me out. Uh, I'll give them credit in a future video. Oh, I noticed the flux point is not attaching, so does this guy not need power? I know we need... Let's see, matter condenser, and then we'll hit U. We need to make singularities, so we need a 64k ME storage. 64k ME storage. Let's see, can you make one for me, please? Let's see. It's got to do some of the dust, some one, a couple of the silicone, a couple of the these processors. All of these have full uh, AE2 speed upgrades in them, so that should be quick. And then I know this item is going to need that. the The matter condenser is going to need the 64, and then I'm pretty sure unless they snowball me again I can you condense into singularities I can do any item it's a trash can so any item that you want to drop in there uh, when you hit 256,000 it'll make the singularity so I'm gonna attach just a cobblestone generator that I have so there's that and then let me see cobblestone yep I got a cobblestone generator 
And then I'm just gonna let this guy do its thing while I uh, do other stuff. So the 64, and then let's see, it should be as simple as just putting it down on top. Uh, 32, you're going up, yeah, 64. Okay, so I'll just let you do your thing and you're gonna make some singularities for me. And I hit you on extract, always active, so I'm pretty sure it'll go right into the ME system. I'll leave you there for a second until I relocate you. So now we have that going. Uh, let, let's see, infinity booster. Okay, so that's singularities. We made the 1024K ME with just, it's just with the, uh, the what's it called, with the patterns. We just made more patterns. It was simple, it was just a lot of stuff. ME quantum link chambers, I have patterns for. Let me see, quantum. We need four of these. I made patterns for them. Let's see what we're missing. I got everything. Let's see if it makes everything we need. Fluix crystals. I have a dropper system that uh, drops it into water and then a range collector that picks them back up. Range collector has a white list for uh, Fluix crystals only. So that way it doesn't pick up the nether quartz and the other stuff. Dragon hearts, I have a bunch of them from fire and ice dragons that I've slain with uh, with Trin. So I, if you put those into a crafting grid, they convert to the dragon hearts from uh, Draconic Evolution. Looks like the machine is getting stuck on quantum and tangle borders. It's crafting eight of the intricate circuit boards. It looks like it's also stuck on glowstone ingots. So let's check that out real quick. Glowstone ingots are in the osmium compressor, I believe. Yeah, glowstone ingots. I wonder why there's refined obsidian dust in here. Glowstone ingot uh, with one glowstone dust, right? Glowstone ingot. What's wrong with you? Osmium compressor. Oh, so I probably didn't put the osmium in there with it. It requires both osmium and glowstone, not just the... Oh, so that would be an input purple. I need to do an extra, just like I did with the elite, with the infusers. Uh, when you configure these guys, it's kind of annoying. The fuel source has to be piped in as an extra and the output has to be on a different slot. So the input for your item and your input for your fuel source has to be on different faces because I can't click this button to be both. So that's why I had to do the top to be the fuel. So that would the top would be uh, the osmium and then the uh, Let's see, how did I do it here? The back. So the top needs to be osmium and the back needs to be uh, the glowstone for that to work. So I need to fix that, but that's kind of okay. I can put filters and then I can get rid of this ME interface and I can put it on here as well. So then I can connect it uh, and, in, and pretty much just repurpose this one. Make it work, make it work better. But we don't need that right now. I'll fix that off camera, uh, and then we can get the uh, the glowstone ingots. I'm gonna let this keep going because I believe the intricate circuit boards are being made. They're just incredibly slow. So let's see. How are you? Oh, you made the aids. Are you not set to extract though? Insert extract, always active, right? Insert extract, always active, okay. And that's the, that should be the only item, correct? Oh, that's weird. It looks like there's double inputs here. Oh no, it's the item and the fluid look the same color. That's what it is. So it is the item, right? 
That's fluid. This is item. Insert extract. Insert extract on that one. Do I have... How's this guy? Do I have an insert extract on him? I should to get the overclockers back into the system. Oh, I, yeah, I should, right? Yeah, it's on this side. I have them as conduits. Okay, so let me export for lapis. That just gets pushed, and then that just gets pushed. Yeah. And then this is an extract. Extract on green, and then insert on green. So this one, since it's separate, let me do a extract on brown and an insert on brown. And then do you go back in, buddy? Come on, buddy. The other one wants to work. Hmm. Or is this the fluid and this the item? Maybe I'm mixing up the colors. So let me see. So if I do the other pipe, extract on brown and insert on brown. And now, well, I'll figure it out later. I'm not interested in that right now since I can't complete the craft anyway. I'll do some troubleshooting and I'll fix that issue later. So let's see, uh, let me put the flux point back away and the facades and the refined obsidian was probably just sitting in there from me manually crafting something. So let's see, I wanted to uh, do the sieving. We'll do sieving today. So we need two sieves, one for nuclear craft and one for common ores. I'll do the heavy oak sieve. And I should have a sieve from doing the gate, but it's probably in the other ME terminal. Doesn't matter to me because they're dirt cheap. Uh, and at the beginning of the game, like it's gated behind mana infused. That's really the hardest part. Uh, so let me just hit plus on another one. Treated wood, bro. Right? Was it treated wood? Sieve. It's planks. Let me see, spruce. Oh, I don't have any. So let me craft 2,000 of these real quick. What's great is I'll have it running through the resin funnel, so it's also making me rosin. And the reason why I did spruce wood planks with the wood seeds is because spruce has the highest millibuckets of rosin that's created when making these. So we need two sieves. And then let me turn them into auto heavy sieves. Auto heavy sieves. Okay, sieves need to be turned into heavy sieves first. Really? You need wood now? Yeah, wood. There we go. Heavy sieve and heavy sieve. And then now I can turn you into auto heavy sieve. And auto heavy sieve. Let's see. Does it cycle? Blay09 in a heavy box, Dustine in a heavy box. Okay, so it does cycle every time you click on it. So maybe I can choose who pops out if I really cared that much. So auto heavy sieve. I want to do common ores. Cumin. That's how you spell it, right? Common. Wait, what am I doing? Coal. Coal was my issue. So that's one of the common things. And then heavy sieve. We're going to do, let's see, flint stiffened mesh, flint stiffened mesh, sieve, flint stiffened mesh. So I could have done a regular sieve. Let's see, is the heavy sieve separate? Nope. So heavy sieve. I could have sworn I was I could have put in the 
Diamond Mesh. So maybe this one, maybe this Heavy Sieve can only do Flint and Flint Stiffened Mesh. Compressed Gravel. Compressed Gravel. Isn't this the same thing? X Compression and just Extra Utilities. Compressed Gravel is just Compressed Gravel. Alright, so that's a simple one. With a Flint Stiffened Mesh. I really thought I could do a, do a diamond mesh. Let's see what all the diamond mesh can do before I settle. Use on a diamond mesh in a heavy sieve. So with ender gravel, we're making the I've already I've already have this one set up, making the biomes plenty. Okay, compressed nether gravel in a heavy sieve makes the yeah makes the uh, nuclear craft we need. Uh, soul sand makes gas tears. Uh, let's see. Compressed sand makes the prismarine shards. Compressed gravel, yeah. Compressed gravel with a diamond stiffened mesh make does not make coal. Okay. Osmium. That makes certus. With compressed dust. What is that? Skystone? Don't need that. Certus. Also no coal. Compressed ga gravel. So going to the diamond stiffened mesh excludes coal. So yeah, we're going to be going, since we need coal, uh, we'll go with uh, the flint mesh. So coal. Heavy sieve. Coal has 7 times 12, 7 times 12, so they're both the same. And let's see, they're, mm, this one does not have Certus, so it does not cover Certus. That's kind of a bummer. Tin, gold, lead, nickel, aluminum, iron, silver, copper, osmium. Okay, so Certus is really the only one that's kind of still bugging me. But we'll get to that when uh, when we get to that. But yeah, compressed compressed gravel, X compression. I don't want to do that one. I'll just make a pattern for uh, compressed gravel and then make an ME export bus. No, cobblestone. That would generate it for me and I wouldn't have to worry about my gravel supply running out. This would just be passively making it. So maybe I should make a, another material stonework factory for this. And a flint stiffened mesh. So we need a stiffened mesh. Flint stiffened mesh, stiffened mesh. Let's make two while we're at it. And then let's make... This one is compressed... No, this one... Yeah. Yeah. Flint stiffened mesh. We got one with a flint stiffened mesh. And then we need to feed it compressed gravel, which can come straight out of a material stonework factory. So let's make that. Stonework. Okay, I need lava bucket. I need slime. I really don't have a uh, slime machine case, the plastics, furnace. Ooh, brutal. All of this stuff is uh, at the other base. And let's check and see what do we need for the uh, nuclear craft while we're at it. Lithium. The lithium is... C does also does blaze. But the diamond has a higher chance. Diamond stiffened mesh, so we'll make that. It's a flint stiffened mesh. Whoop. Nope. Let's go. Diamond. Okay. Oh, it ate the one that I had in my inventory. Hey, Coot! How are you doing today? Glad you're back. Today we're working on sieving. 
Uh, I need another flint stiffened mesh then. Okay, cool. There we go. And lithium ore piece, compressed nether gravel. So crushed nether rack. So we need a crafter. And then we need a pulverizer. So let's go crafter. Crafter tier one. We need a crafter for this guy. And then we also need the pulverizer like this. And what are we missing? We are missing flint large plates. We are missing pistons ah, and another crusher. Let's see, can I make a crusher from here? I am missing the basic coils. All right. So let's hit up the other base and the other ME system where most of my stuff is. Home dimension. Yeah, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Uh, let me switch the devices real quick. Nope, wireless is not out of range. Or did I not switch before? Okay. So let's go pulverizer. Can we make a pulverizer here? Okay, we have the flint large plates here. But let's just grab these three things. No, don't put it back into inventory. Oh, let's make a crusher. Can we make it here? Dude. We're missing basic coils. Okay. Cool. Crusher. Cool. So we got the crusher. And then uh, we need to grab these things and bring them with us. Because we have everything else at the other base. So that's the pulverizer. We need that. And then we, what was it that we needed? We needed the stonework. Another stonework. So let's see, can we make you here? Okay, we're missing just the uh, iron pickaxe. Nice. And then stonework. Nice. So yeah, stonework straight into the auto heavy sieve with the flint stiffened mesh should give us all of the common ores like the uh, coal that we need and the uh, copper and the tin and the osmium but not the certus so I'm gonna have to figure something else out about the service maybe another sieve it might not be that big a deal so let's boogie back to the space station And it did it again. Sometimes when I teleport here, it just does not give me my ME system. Me re teleport. There we go. All right, so let's make the pulverizer now. We are missing the pistons. Okay, so pistons. Oh, wait. Yeah, I have 178 ejects. 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 Empty. Cool. We got pistons. The ones that we made extra. Now. Gimme, gimme. Pulverizer. All right. Okay, so pulverizer and an ME export. ME export bus? Yeah. We'll make you. Oh, I need formation core. All right. And let's show me, show me the ME export bus. So it's making the logic circuits real quick. Scheduled 50 fluix dust. Come on, guys. Stored one. I could have sworn I did like a, a thousand of each of these. 
Uh, okay, so now we have the formation cores. I mean, an ME export bus into the pulverizer. The pulverizer is going to feed into the crafter. The crafter is going to feed into the auto heavy sieve with the diamond stiffened mesh, and then it's going to be exported back into the ME. It should be, yeah, put back into the system. And then this one is the, it's going to make the items that are going to be compressed and then put back into the system. So this should be everything that we need for the two ores. So let me go back over here where I have a, the sieves running for right now. And I'll put them right next to each other. This pipe right here has some of the smart channels. Okay, that's working. So I can put you right here. So another pulverizer. So I'll put the pulverizer next to, no, maybe. Maybe I'll split them up. I'll put the material stonework factory. And then, let's see, uh, coal. The stonework factory is going to be making compressed gravel. Okay, so it's pickaxe and then the crafting bench. So pickaxe, crafting bench. All right, and then you're gonna get power. And then it's going to be what slot did it pop out in? It's either the second one or the third one. But they should all be set to output. Yeah, they're all set to output in all directions. So then it'll output down straight into the auto heavy sieve. Nice. And then inside the auto heavy sieve, we're going to put the flint stiffened mesh. And then that output, I'm going to put straight into the system. And this is kind of wonky now that I have these cables in the way, because I want to do an ME export bus. No, this guy's going to make it. So this guy just needs power. So let's give him power. Hum, hum, hum. You're gonna get power. I forgot, do sieves need power? Sieves need power. So I'm gonna give you power. Okay. I'll probably just pop another pl uh, plug back over here. So just because plugs are kind of cheap to make once you can make them. Uh, so this guy is going to need, let's see, one, two, I'm still going to need to, what is this? Is this an ME, ME interface? Yeah. So I'll bring it up over there. Uh, item conduit. So this, this one needs an item, this one needs an item, and then I can pipe it up. Let me go this way. Item. There we go. And then down. There we go. So this guy is going to extract on green. And this guy is going to insert on green and then extract on brown. And then this guy's going to insert on brown. All right. And so they both need power. And so let's put a bird on it. Right there. Choose our network and let's see. You are now making gravel, compressed gravel, so it's the third slot. And then that's getting fed into here, which is now making all of our, there's flint, there's lead and aluminum. Flint, I'm waiting for one piece of coal. <laughs> 
and flint and coal cool so now we have taken care of our coal issues uh, let's go straight into the other sieve so that we can wrap up the sieves for now and let's see and what I'm gonna do is it's because of, I'm being crunched on time for these episodes that's why the I'm doing kind of dire wiry things but uh, off camera I'll clean it up so we need another pulverizer cool this guy is going to need uh, an ME export so on the other side on the back side we need to configure this guy so there we go right shift right click turns all of it off the back of the system is going to be blue for an input and then the bottom of the system is going to be the output for the pulverizer we need an ME export right here making sure is it export it is an export bus perfect ME export and what we need is let's see it was lithium ah with lithium and compressed nether gravel yes compressed nether gravel so we need crushed nether rack so we need to export nether rack so let's see we finally have a use for the nether rack that we're building up and then we're going to export nether rack excellent and I'm gonna hook this guy up with power and with an ME drive so we need power and we need an ME conduit so power or let me do the ME conduit first so it knows what's up ME conduit or I'm hoping ME conduits can connect to this stuff let's see it probably can't yeah it has to be an actual pipe an actual so what what color is this this is purple man this is I'm just trying to make sure that this works I'm gonna totally un untangle all of these cables later why did I only grab one purple I'll untangle this this jumble of mess at a later date yeah this is rough so yeah exporting and you are getting power from where oh is it the it's the cable that's right next to you huh oh yeah that's convenient so I also have item conduit I don't want the items to, to come out okay we're making crushed nether rack that works it needs to go into a crafter tier one nice so then you're gonna get power as well that works and then I don't want mm, let me do extract on brown the crafter is going to make a recipe it'll be internal no it'll be external and then let's make this guy and apply and it makes compressed nether gravel perfect it's gonna be exporting on brown do I have another import on brown oops so yeah let me change this one to a different color let's do blue okay you're gonna stay here now cool and then you need to go down into a the sieve that we built for you right there and then we're gonna give you the mesh and then you need a power and you need an item power nice now you have power cool and you need item what am I doing separating these cables I don't know why I'm right clicking cool and then this one will be uh, let's see we have to do well uh, let's do insert no what am I doing wrong now 
Okay, extract on blue, insert on blue. That'll do that. Just have to get the colors right. So that is making boron, magnesium, thorium. Okay, cool. And then we need to extract on green, but the insert into the ME, what color are you? The insert needs to be brown. The extract needs to be brown. Are you going? You're going. And I don't need to do speed upgrades because uh, it's it's going to it's going to catch up. So cool, magnesium, thorium, lithium, cobalt. We're making the nuclear craft ores. Super exciting. We are making the common ores. Super exciting. I'll fix the cabling. That cabling is just atrocious. I think that's even bad. I think that's even worse than uh, Direwolf himself would do. <laughs> that is worse. Man. Uh, and then let's let me show you one last thing before I call the episode. We of course need patterns. So and then yeah, I'll do one. Uh, we need let's do lithium because I always search for lithium. That's the one that's most important. It is a processing pattern. We're getting ore pieces in now. See we have 33. It is four. Two, three, four. Makes a lithium ore. So now uh, we put this in the, one of the slots we have in the molecular assembler array right here. And now let's see. Let me pull the lithium. And now let's see. Three. Let's do ten. No, I, yeah, I did my math wrong. Nine. So let's do nine. And then it should make nine. Nice! Yeah! Lithium ore. And then eventually, when I stop being too incredibly lazy about it, I'm going to make an ME terminal back here for the times four. That goes in, crushes it into four shards each. Blah, blah, blah. I think I've mentioned this in multiple streams now, but look at all that lithium. Nice. So yeah, whenever a craft uh, needs ingots and I'm out of ingots, I'm going to have the ore. Uh, so it'll, it'll go down the line of the patterns. It will pull from the, uh, the different ores. Let's do the nucle nuclear craft, right? Lithium. Let's do at nuclear craft. OK, that's probably just let me just do boron. Thorium. Magnesium. Nice. And let's go magnesium. Right here. We'll do thorium. Right here. We'll do boron up top. And we'll do lithium. These will fill up. Uh, since it is creating the um, whoop, whoop, whoop. this pulverizer, it's, it's this one, right? That's making it ardite cobalt. Yeah, the pulverizer is going to be okay. So the res void resource miner is making this netherrack out of nothing. The pulverizer is taking that netherite and crushing it. The uh, crafter is making it into crafting it into compressed netherrack and then the sieve is sieving it and making free nuclear craft ores so then the pattern will take the ores that are filling in the drawer will make ore and then another pattern will take that ore and throw it into the ore times four and then uh, the system will be fed with four ingots so uh, whenever I run out of ore, the system will take care of it myself. Or I, of course, can jump into the system and be like, ah, give me a thousand, give me two thousand. You know, I can do that too to prepare. But uh, we have solved our our coal issue, which uh, off the top of my head right now, I can't remember 
what we needed the coal for specifically. I think it was for the uh, coal to be fed to the redstone furnace to make the creosote to make the pistons, but now we have that. Oh, so yeah, I guess uh, leaving off on uh, this would be the best idea. Let's see, have you made one yet? You are on 16,000 out of 200 and, uh, 524,000. And then, yeah, I'll jump back to uh, my arc furnace where I probably accidentally threw the time in a bottle into the purple ender chest from the uh, mob farm. I'll grab that. These can be tick accelerated. I'm in no hurry, you know, like uh, I'll figure out the glowstone and then when I get the singularities, we still need to make anglocyte. So the next thing that we're going to do is making anglocyte. So we need to do the pedestals and then these are going to I'll go over those when we do that all in one episode we'll make the two anglocyte we'll make the infinity booster card and then I'll figure out how to link up both of the emmy systems that I foolishly made but on that note thank you so much for watching and tune in tomorrow